Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share you a June update. I forgot to do a June update. Today's July 2nd. And I'm going to give you a June update today. Welcome everyone. This is Elaine from TT Valley Girl Garden. And I'm just excited to share some things with you guys today. This is my beet, my container where I grow six beets. And they are they are growing they're just coming out of the up from the dirt I'm waiting for two more to come up and sorry this one is this came up as well I'm excited I'm waiting for that one so that's how the beet looks but I want it I'm excited about my tomato plants in this container I have tomato plant I have a beautiful pepper plant. She is growing very, very fast. Very fast. Then I have another pepper plant here that this tomato is trying to cover. So I'm gonna have to cut back the branches. This is my thyme that's growing in the same container. This is uh, another pepper plant. And this is one of the new ones I just put in. And this is another pepper plant that's doing very, very well. I don't know if you can see it right there. Has not been flowering yet, but I think soon they are. I think I see something right there. And this beautiful tomato plant. This is the beef steak tomato. This one has not flowered yet. No flowering on this one yet. Oh, it has buds right there right there there's a few right here but let me show you this one this one is the same tomato plant and I am so happy I have over more than 20 between flowers and buds in this plant right here there's this beautiful flowers there they first started some flowers down here right here there's some buds there right there I don't know if you can see it because of the wet and there there's some right here which I don't want to mess them up so I've been seeing a lot of bees around I hope they're pollinating my flowers right there so this is the same as that one but this one is much bigger see and these are my Mary Grows I'm growing here. So definitely got to cut back some branches on this one as well because it's, it's touching the ground anyway. So this branch right here has to come out because it's covering this pepper plant and the thyme herb plant. So this big thing here has to come out. But has no flowers on it. This is my Sanias. I don't know what's going on with her. She's taking forever to grow. But let me just show you what's going on over here. A few other things real quick. It's really nosy. A lot of noise out here. So these are the little greenhouse I made the other day. You saw it in my other video. And I put some Mary grows in there so there are a few that came up so we're gonna keep our eye on this and it looks like she needs some water so I'm gonna be watering that one this is a kale plant that I think I'm gonna remove from the Sun this is another pepper plant I put in here and this is my sunflower plant so I think there's about seven or nine plants in there so she's doing very well. She's growing. This is also my marigold little greenhouse I did. Just trying to hurry up because it's so hot out here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. All right. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look, these are much better. So I'm going to leave these open so that they could get some sun. These are all marigolds and this is all marigolds here too which i have to open her up i can't see because of the sun i hope you guys can see that's the marigolds there 
So we're gonna let them open. Leave them open. I'm gonna wait because it's really hot. It's been raining a lot, but I am going to wait until like 7 or 7.30 or 8 p.m. to water some of these. Well, not all of them, but I think just the marigonese water. This is where I got all my herbs. And I'm removing the plastic to see what's going on in here. So herbs could take a long time to grow. So this is the spicy basil. One of it came up. None of the parsley yet. This one is lemon basil. I see two lemon basils there. And back here, no oregano and no catnip. So, the dirt is very moist and warm. So, I'm going to cover it back up because I don't want the birds to eat up my seeds. So, this is how the, the garden is looking right now. It's a small garden. I am very happy with these tomato plants and peppers. I was 